You wouldn't think having too many great products would be a problem, but it certainly can be if your customers are having a hard time sorting through all those products. When customers can't narrow down a store's inventory to find the style, color, or brand they're looking for, they often leave the site in frustration. You can really hurt your conversion rate and turn customers away by having too many products without helpful navigation. Fortunately, BigCommerce offers product filtering. This will save you lots of lost revenue by allowing your customers to narrow their searches based on their preferences and quickly find the products they want. Product filtering, also known as faceted search, allows shoppers to refine product searches based on multiple attributes, such as price, size, ratings, and more. Check out this navigation, which allows you to filter by color, size, inseam, fit, and collection to get you right to your preferred style of product. A customer can find just what they need in an instant, increasing the likeliness of them making a purchase. Let me show you how to achieve this in your control panel. To enable product filtering, go to Products, and then Product Filtering. At this point, you may have to upgrade your BigCommerce plan to take advantage of product filtering. Also, make sure if your store's design has been customized, or if you're using a non-compatible theme, you may need to choose a compatible theme, or you can check out our product filtering toolkit to implement product filtering on your store. You'll find all the compatible themes and the toolkit listed in our additional resources or at support.bigcommerce.com. Let me show you how to enable product filtering on a BigCommerce theme. You see here that I have several filters on my products. BigCommerce supports up to 12 different filters. These can be any combination of category, brand, price, rating, free shipping, featured products, products in stock, product options, or you can even create your own custom filters, known as custom fields. If you add a custom field that has the same name as one of your product options, these two filters will be merged together to form one single filter, helping consolidate your products into a more powerful search result. Filters will only display on your storefront if you have products with those attributes. For instance, if you don't offer free shipping at all on the product level, you will not see this filter on your storefront. Also, you'll need to make sure you've created SKUs for all of your product options. Check out our tracking inventory video for more on generating SKUs. Setting up product filtering is very simple. However, if you have any customizations, you'll want to speak with your designer or developer. You can adjust some settings on each filter by going into the gear wheel on the right. Here, you can change the display name or how many items to show in the results, or perhaps if you wanted to show the product count or not. Some filters will have a sort setting that allows you to change the order in which the products will display. If you wish to remove a filter from your storefront, just click the green check in the visible on storefront column. Your filters will display on your site the same way they are ordered in your control panel. If you want to change the order of the filters, simply drag and drop them into the right order. Now, one item we want to point out is how to get your products to result in a filtered search, even when they don't have the product options associated with them. Let's say you sell a white t-shirt, only in white, with no color product options. But you want it to be found when a customer filters to white. By default, this wouldn't populate because it doesn't have an option associated with it. The option of white is what creates the automatic product filter for white. Let's head to products and view products, and I'll go into edit the white t-shirt in question. Across the top menu, you'll see a tab for custom fields. What we need to do in these cases is create those custom fields that we mentioned earlier. If we create a custom field on our white t-shirt called color and give it a value of white, this will populate when the white filter is selected on your storefront. So remember, if a product doesn't have any options on it, meaning it doesn't come in different styles, colors, or sizes, but you still want it to populate in a particular filter, you'll have to match the product filter's name here in custom fields, and then give it a value that makes sense to your shop and your products. Let's go check out these new filters on the storefront. We won't see any filters on the homepage. Product filters only display on category, brand, and search pages. I'll click on apparel. Since this is a very broad parent category, this is a good example where I may need to filter to find the relevant products I'm looking for. If a shopper is looking to buy only white apparel, they will select that filter 
in the filter navigation, and then they'll see only white products. Excellent. This saves my customers tons of time and points them right to the products they're most interested in, helping the customer better navigate the site and boost my conversion rates.